And you see it in the title. What in the world is happening to Bitcoin right now? Bitcoin is breaking down, actually breaking many, many support levels. And now everyone is asking after this crazy news from uh, Donald Trump today, who said that Bitcoin is a scam. He also acknowledged it as a currency and as a competition to the US dollar. How low is Bitcoin going? What are my price targets? Well, I will be talking about that. And I have here a little bit of a different setup. Actually, I am here... Um, coming live to you from my balcony, which is a nice view, but um, I am actually forced to use here my, uh, my MacBook, but I actually have something very interesting to show to you. Not only this not new Wyckoff pattern, what we can expect from Bitcoin here in the immediate short term, in case this is actually unfolding, this is actually playing out. And obviously, I want to talk about my price targets as well, whether I think that we are going down to 23,000 US dollars or whether we are going to find support before I will be talking talking about everything. There's a lot of noise in this space right now. There's a lot of media articles. If you just type in Bitcoin, you press on news, you see a lot of horrible stuff about Bitcoin. So I am here, guys, to clear the situation a little bit for you. If you appreciate that, smash up the like button. We already have 4,000 people in the house after one minute. Thank you so much for that. Of course, if you share the video with your friends on social media, whenever I see it, I give you a like, I share it or whatever. I truly appreciate it. Sharing is caring and sharing is what YouTube, the YouTube algorithm appreciates the most. So if you can share this video, of course, make noise in the algorithm, uh, in the comment section for the algorithm. I would truly appreciate that. And before I'm going into the charts, I wanted to quickly see here, where are you coming from? Maybe you let me know the country, the city you are coming from. HP Baxter. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Liked um, today for the Bitcoin price. I I love it, man. I love it. You are my family. Of course, I have my real family, but you are like my real family, guys. I truly appreciate everyone coming here. Um, the the non-family family, so to speak, right? I don't know if that's even proper English. So let's start with the Bitcoin price here and we can see more and more people coming in. That's amazing. So first of all, let's see what's actually happening here right now. Let's get down to business, right? So we had this, uh, we had Bitcoin actually being suppressed here to the downside and then forming this symmetrical triangle. What I was saying earlier, and I didn't predict that it's gonna break down, but what I was saying is statistically, just from the starts, uh, charts judging, the likelihood is higher to break towards the downside. Number one, because we were going down in a downtrend and then we have a symmetrical triangle, which is a continuation pattern. From this alone, the likelihood is higher to break towards the downside. But something crazy happened here, and this is something I didn't see a lot of times. We had like 10 or 12 consecutive four-hourly candles weakening the support. And you know the rule. The more often we are actually retesting the support, the weaker it becomes. The same thing goes for the resistance. And well, Bitcoin eventually broke down to the downside. If I am pulling out the volume candles, you can see there's some volume coming in. But honestly, guys... This is such a detrimental breakdown. We actually need more volume to confirm that this is a legitimate breakdown. So far, it's not enough volume for me to confirm that. We also didn't confirm the breakdown. Am I saying we are not going lower? No, th th this is not what I'm saying. What I am saying is for me to short, if I were to short, I would not short right now because we don't have the confirmation signs. Number one. So, the price target, and this price target is actually derived from the measured move price target from the top to the bottom. I just pull it over here, and then our price target is 24,000. Why do I think, and it is, a, it is a risky statement to say so, why do I think that we are not going to reach the price target of 24,000? Maybe in a week or two we have 24,000 and you're going to say, mm, Chris, Chris, like you were wrong. Well, in this case, I would be wrong. The, the reason why I personally think that we are not going to reach it is that in the narrative of a bull market, actually, so far, everything what happened is exactly what we were actually expecting, even though I, I didn't exactly predict like 30,000, but I said... According to the Wyckoff pattern here, 30,000 is my worst case scenario. As you remember, I was posting that, whew, that was quite some time ago. It was like a month ago. I make so many videos. Wow. So let me quickly see where that was. Um, it was this one chart. Oh, yeah. This one here, for example, this is very, very scary for Bitcoin. You can check it out. You can see even in the thumbnail the Wyckoff pattern here. But then I have had a fully dedicated video for this one as well, where you can see the Wyckoff pattern in the... Oh, you know what? It's right here. This one here. A month ago. Make sure you check that out here. And um, here I was talking about the 30,000. This was number one. 
the number one reason why I thought, okay, maybe we go to 30,000. If we go, this is my worst case scenario. If we go, I think this is the support and this is where we are going to bottom out. And there's another reason actually, also charting rise, why I think it is at least very possible for Bitcoin to have bottomed out at this level here at uh, 28, 29,000 US dollars. Bitcoin is of course breaking down right now and it is possible that I'm wrong here. I'm just giving you all the information I'm having and I want to give you all different viewpoints. So if I'm pulling this from the top to the bottom and this is the Fibonacci retracement ratio, right? Then you actually can see, let me, I want to make it properly, that Bitcoin actually went down exactly into the golden pocket. You can see it here, the golden pocket actually being between 28,800 and 30,600 US dollars. Bitcoin exactly went down there. I could say exactly as predicted, but in the end of the day, I said it's one scenario, it's my worst case scenario. But my worst case scenario came true. So if Bitcoin were to go break further lower, I just, the only thing I don't want to see, because if this happens, I say, okay, I might have been wrong. I don't want to see Bitcoin closing below the 28,800 US dollar level. If Bitcoin closes, not only wicks, if Bitcoin closes below the Fibonacci golden pocket, this is when I'm stepping back. I'm saying, okay, guys, maybe I was wrong here. Maybe we are going to find lower lows. Maybe we are going to go to 24,000. Unless this is not happening, I am remaining very, very cautious here to um, quote price targets of 24,000, which is a possibility, but this is not what I'm banking on. And there is something else, guys. Let me quickly go over here. Just a second, guys. So here, what are we talking about here? This here is another Wyckoff pattern. As you remember, we had this one here. Wait a second. This is on the daily candles. And I let me quickly delete the, um, the FIP level. Here you can see phase A, phase B, phase C, phase D, and phase E. So going bullishly into it, and having this accumulation pattern here, this is a bearish pattern for Bitcoin. This is the Wyckoff reversal, the Wyckoff accumulation pattern with a price target of 30,000. I was talking about this one actually. And once again, guys, just go back a month ago and check this video here. I was actually talking about this exact scenario unfolding approximately at the levels of 55,000. This is exactly what happened. We went down to this price target. But right now, Bitcoin is forming a potential we are not that far yet, but a potential Wyckoff pattern again. So if this would unfold, if this would actually happen here, this Wyckoff pattern here, right? And I, let me show you for comparison. Let me see where, where, how, where can I show it to you for comparison. Ah, perfect. Just a second. So this is the bearish one we had before. And here you can see the bullish one where we are going down leading into that uh, pattern and then actually having this accumulation phase here through, uh, through phase A, B, and C. And right now we are actually going into phase C. And phase C, according to that pattern, has to break the previous low. This one has to break the previous low, not necessarily, but this would be the perfect, um, the perfect pattern, right? So if we were to break the previous low, get a massive bounce towards the upside, likelihood is very high that in phase C, D, and E, we are going to break higher and in phase E, eventually breaking through the 50,000 US dollar price level again. Once again, it is not a um, sealed deal yet, right? But so far, we are actually following this trajectory. I could actually redraw that with the white lines here. We are um, following that trajectory and Bitcoin is about to break the previous low. If we were to wick below here and then consolidate throughout the remainder of June, then the likelihood is high of this bullish reversal pattern hopefully coming into fruition. First of all, let me know what you think about that. Well, I remember how people were laughing at me quoting this bearish uh, thing. And I was telling you, obviously, guys, completely honest, I was telling you, hey, guys, so far Bitcoin is in a bull trend, but let me at least pull out my worst case scenario. Even though I didn't really believe in it myself, I knew this is Bitcoin. Bitcoin makes the Unproppable, actually very possible. And this is unfortunately exactly what happened. Right now, everyone and their mother is talking about price levels. And it is legit price levels. I'm not down talking it. It's a very legit analysis. But people are talking about $12,000, $17,000, US $23,000. US well, maybe right now we should stay, take a step back and think about what is now our best case scenario. You know how Bitcoin works, right? So talking about the worst case scenario before. I'm talking about the best case scenario right now, and this is actually the Wyckoff reversal pattern. So I want to answer a few, um, a few uh, questions of yours before I'm going further more into it and also talk about my trades, my price predictions, and much, much more. I also wanted to actually remind you guys, 
if you are new to the MM Crypto family or even if you are not, go down below and you will find 3,000 US dollars for free. If you go to the pinned comment, it's actually right now in the video description. It actually tells you in the video description $1,100, I think. It's not true. You get 3,000 US dollars down below. If you click the link, if you click the Bybit link alone, you get 1,600 US dollars for free by clicking the link, making an account. You get a bonus, we get a bonus, but you need an initial deposit to actually activate this account. Um, they will explain it on the website. It all over, uh, overall takes like two minutes or something to claim the bonus. You can trade with this free bonus as well. So I can see here many, many comments down below. Bitcoin to 25,000, sell, 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 25,000 incoming. And well, it's possible, it's possible. But whenever everyone is getting bearish, I'm getting very, very cautious, not necessarily uh, like when everyone is getting bearish, I'm not necessarily getting greedy immediately, but I'm getting very cautious. Uh, and the reason for this is actually something else I wanted to show you. If you just go over to, um, not only into the, our comment section here, no, just go down, uh, go over to Google and type in Bitcoin, go on news. Let's just see what happens if you type in on news. Bitcoin extends losses falling below 32,000. Bitcoin slides 7% percent after US seizes most of colonial pip pipeline ransom, right? Bitcoin terrible run isn't over yet. I mean, the chart is ugly. Price falls below 32,000. Bitcoin tumbles 10%, right? I mean, there is... You will have a very, very, very hard time finding any positive news here. Donald Trump, like everything guys doesn't this seem a little bit sketchy to you something else i wanted to show you doesn't this seem a little bit sketchy to you when everyone is bearish the mainstream media and everyone is bearish well let me show you something else guys if we are going over to alternative.me you can see the fear and greed index which is right now actually at extreme fear and it's not only since today no yesterday last week we are in extreme fear for quite some time here right now and if i'm going to max you can see that we are at the same levels we were in March 2020, what happened there in March 2020 at the same levels of fear we had here? Well, guys, let me tell you what happened. At this point of time, Bitcoin actually dropped from 10,400 US dollars down to 3,800 US dollars. That was a big drop, right? And we went down to 3,000, almost as low as the previous um, bear market. And we had the same amount of fear, uh, the same, same amount of fear in the market. How is that possible? Well, Back then, we had on average much more sophisticated investors. We had on average much less fewer weak hands in the market. So it was a little bit harder to make them fearful. Right now, and this is something I criticized actually for a long time with these meme coins, we have a lot of people in this space who, and I don't want to attack anyone. I love everyone joining this space. Everyone is needed. I, I welcome everyone. But we have a lot of people. They don't care about Bitcoin. They don't care about the philosophy and the fundamentals. And they are here just for the quick buck. They are here to watch a TikTok video and flip some um, flip some uh, meme coins for a quick buck and um, go back into US dollar over on Robinhood, right? So many of these people, it's of course much easier to make them fearful. So now, at 32,000, and think about the, the irony of that. At 32,000, we have the same amount of fear than we had it at 3,800. So we are 10x higher, and the people are just as fearful. How in the world, after 11 years of price action history with higher highs and higher lows, are the people still, still fearful when Bitcoin is at 32,000? So let me continue with that journey. So we are right now at very fearful territory, right? The same fearful territory we had in March 2020. Then in August, when we dipped down like, I don't know, 40% or so, but just like a quick dip, right? But the last time we had that much of fear accumulated throughout a few weeks, just like right here and right here, was, guess what? 2018, November, December. And what happened then? What happened in 2018, November, December? Well, I can tell you what happened. Bitcoin dumped from 20,000 US dollars down to 3,100 US dollars. And this was the bear market low. So right now, Bitcoin being at 32,000, we have the same amount of fear in the market, like during the C dump, the pandemic dump, right? The Black Thursday, 3,800 US dollars and the bear market low. 
So now you can think twice, guys. Do you want to join the fearful crowd? Do you want to sell your Bitcoin portfolio just because Bitcoin might go down another 10, 20%? What if you miss out to buy the bottom? What if you are standing on the sidelines forever? Wow, we are very close, getting very close to 10,000 like, uh, views. Thank you so much, guys. Let's crush the 10,000. What you can do if you're watching this right now, very easy. Press the like button, takes half a second, and you support the YouTube algorithm. This is all I'm asking for right now. Thank you so much for that. Big dump incoming. Like, wow. Some people are saying buy the dip, sell, sell. <laughs> we are all George. I don't know, George, if you're watching, big shout out to you. I don't think we have ever talked to each other. Um, Fakaufs, someone is asking me, Chris, are you selling? No. So what I'm doing is, of course, I'm adapting to the situation. And a few weeks ago, whenever we broke this, let me quickly go back. I want to show it to you. This is a very important thing to understand here. So whenever we broke this, ah, come on, guys, come on. So whenever we broke this year in April, I was getting already more cautious. I was even saying it like this, right? So you can see here, if I'm auto-scaling this, that this trend actually started all the way back in December 2020 at 19,000. Since we broke the all-time high, Bitcoin was in this upward sloping trend on the on the linear chart here. We had this linear trend. The moment we broke it down, broke down, I was already starting to trade much, much less. I traded and, guys, I also lost two trades. Of course, I want to be transparent here. Yeah, I think I lost two trades. But before, we gained 12 trades. We had 12 profitable trades, which we closed, right? So I lost two trades here. And I was getting more and more cautious, of course, as the time passed. And as you can see here, Bitcoin went down and also fulfilled the price target. So since we broke this trend, actually, Bitcoin is in a downtrend with consecutive lower lows and lower highs. I need to see Bitcoin to finally not only have lower highs, uh, lower low, low, higher lows but also to break previous highs the first step would be to finally break the 40000 US dollar level and as you can see this we would have to eventually to do so if bitcoin breaks now in phase c below the pre, uh, the previous low here and then actually uh, consolidates, gets a bounce and consolidates towards the upside. This would be my sign. Okay, maybe guys, this bullish work of accumulation pattern is actually unfolding. And then the next step would be in phase D to break the previous high here of 40,000. If I'm going back, we had here the 40,000 US dollar high in phase B. So if we are wicking below, we need to go above here and break the previous high. If this happens, I am very confident that this was the bottom and once again guys for everyone who is joining you here 10,000 viewers perfect if we are breaking below don't get too crazy we need actually a close above the previous low if bitcoin closes below the previous low this is when i'm saying okay guys i'm getting uh, much more cautious and maybe i was wrong maybe we are going to 24,000. as long as this is not happening uh, i'm not getting crazy here Actually, I wanted to answer a question. What was the uh, question I wanted to answer? Let me quickly remember. Ah, yeah, what, whether I'm selling or not, sorry. So I have the long-term holding portfolio and I have my trading portfolio. I just showed you, I was getting much more cautious and trading much less. I'm still trading, but trading much less once Bitcoin broke this upward sloping trend line. So this is how I'm adapting to the situation. Whenever Bitcoin is going into a bear trend, into a downtrend, bear market, bear trend, however you want to call it, I am actually stepping back and waiting much more often than I'm trading because I'm either longing or waiting, as I'm always, always telling you, in a bull market. And in a bear market, I'm rather stepping a few uh, steps back. My holding portfolio remains untouched though. And the reason for this is, guys, this is a, a question of a mindset. And when I started with Bitcoin back in the days, many years ago, I was actually also asking people, hey, what was your biggest mistake? What would you actually revert? What actions would you actually um, undo if you could, if you could travel back in time? And many OGs told me, man, it was a mistake. I sold my, uh, my, my uh, sold Bitcoin from my holding portfolio. I tried to sell the top and buy the bottom. And many very, very, very smart people told me always the same. If I would have just held on to my Bitcoin, I would have more right now. This is something. Please, guys, please remember this. No matter what happens, hold your Bitcoin. Bitcoin, of course, it's there to spend one day, right? But until Bitcoin is not getting to a valuation which we can consider fair, spending your Bitcoin is not a smart thing in my opinion. Of course, I need to spend some time to pay for my living expenses and everything, but nothing above that. 
This is very important to understand. And there's one saying, the smartest people learn from mistakes from others. And this is what I always try to do. I always ask other people, what was your biggest mistake? What was your biggest learning? Then the second smartest people, they learn from their own mistakes. And of course, I'm still doing some mistakes myself, but at least I'm trying to learn from that. The dumbest people learn from no mistakes at all and don't listen to other people. Please, guys, go out. If you know someone who is in crypto for more than five, four, five, six years, ask him, what was your biggest mistake? And I can promise you, everyone will tell you the exact same thing. Their biggest mistake is usually always trying to outperform the market with their hodling portfolio. With trading, that's fine. We have stop losses. We have everything, right? We are taking profits in the meantime in Bitcoin. This is okay. But with your hodling portfolio, this is not meant for speculation, guys. Um, oh, someone is saying, and please, guys, confirm, MicroStrategy is now raising 500 million US dollars to buy Bitcoin. Is this correct, guys? Is this correct? Maybe I can, I can check. Uh, on the on the Twitter page of Michael Saylor. If this is correct, this is of course good news. And this is something I usually expect from Michael Saylor because he is getting active whenever everyone is fearful, which is nice because um, Michael Saylor, because he of course gives a lot of um, a lot of confidence in the market, especially at their buy ah here yeah, perfect, especially at their buying areas. So let me, let me quickly see here. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Look at this. MicroStrategy announces proposed private offering of 400 million of senior secured notes to acquire additional Bitcoin. Wow. Let me retweet this. I mean... That, <laughs> but it was from yesterday. But I'm, I'm sure not every one of you guys knows it. I didn't know it. Wow. This is beautiful. Very, very nice. So let's see what you guys have to say. Wow, so amazing, man. 3,400 likes. Thank you so much, guys. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, old news, old news. I saw it. It's from yesterday, guys. Come on. Yeah, someone was mentioning the death cross. Let's talk about the death cross for Bitcoin. Because if we are going over here, and you know what? Let me pull out the daily chart. And let me pull out the death cross. It sounds horrible. What? You know why? Because it is. So let me, get, <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, yeah, it, it is, it, the death cross is not a nice thing. Let me, how can I turn this around? Perfect, no. Perfect. So here's the death cross. You have the daily candles. Every single candlestick represents one day. And then you have the long-term moving average. This is the 200-day moving average, the, the purple one here. I don't know, turquoise uh, one here. This is the 200-day moving average. The orange one is the 50-day moving average, right? So. Let me quickly go like this. So what you can see here is that right now, if I'm zooming in, they are about to cross in a few days. If Bitcoin start, continues to go down or consolidate, they will cross. If Bitcoin gets a huge bounce and raises like a thousand US dollars per day, then we can prevent the cross. So far, doesn't look perfect. We can still prevent the cross. What happens when the death cross actually happens? Well, if these ones were to cross, all we can do is, as always, we can go to the previous history and see what usually happens when they are crossing. Well, here, this was the death cross and Bitcoin went into this prolonged bear cycle. The most important bear cross, uh, bear death cross was, of course, after the previous all-time high at 20,000. Once we crossed, start of the bear market, right? The same thing works actually towards the upside because we also have golden crosses. Whenever this one goes above it, we are starting the bull market. So this is why some people are freaking out about the death cross and I can truly understand it. So far, it didn't happen yet. So far, we can get a massive bounce, of course, and prevent it. But honestly, for this, Bitcoin would have to increase approximately 20,000 US dollars until the end of June. Possible, but not very likely, right? Uh, but possible. I want to practice my diamond hand, but should I sell and buy back later? Well, what you can do to answer your question, just go back a little bit in that video. And this is actually a shout out to everyone who was joining later. You can actually go below the video and this red thing, you just take it all the way back and you can watch this video from the very beginning. It's still actual, it's still on point, it's still um, up to date. So make sure you go back to the very beginning and you watch the video from the start. Someone is saying, apologize to Elon. Do you mean me? Because for, for me, I don't have anything to apologize to him. I was always nice to him. I told him, if you buy Bitcoin, I donate 50,000 to charity. And guess what? 
I donated 85,000 US dollars to charity. So come on, Elon. And I was not talking bad about him, but of course I'm criticizing him heavily for what he did recently. I didn't even criticize so much for what he said about Bitcoin and, um, and pollution. I mean, this is his mission. This is his life mission. So why not get a little bit um, cautious about that if, if like the lobby is pressing him down, right? But there was something else. When he was recently promoting Come Rocket, this is, I mean, come on, guys. This is the most absurd altcoin in the world, judging just from the name. He was promoting it heavily on Twitter. He was posting memes, he was posting like small smileys and everything and the price just pumped 200 or 300%. This is irresponsible because he can, I'm not talking about small altcoins myself because I have such a big impact on the market. I'm talking about things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, sometimes Cardano, things where I cannot just pump the price 100%. He is doing that and this is very irresponsible because he has a lot of power and um, with a lot of power, a lot of responsibility comes and it seems like he is not taking responsibility um, for the power he actually had. And honestly, this disappointed me a little bit because I was always a big fan of him, of uh, most of the things he is doing and um, now this is irresponsible behavior and it really reminds me on four years back on what John McAfee was doing and Well, you all know what, how people think about John McAfee now. And maybe it's a, actually a big similarity because everyone liked John McAfee, even though he was a little bit crazy, right? But like many people liked him so much up until August 2017 or something when he started um, selling tweets. And that's actually when the reputation turned around. I really hope, Elon, if maybe some of your friends are watching this, that you are turning around, that you are learning from these mistakes and please not continuing to be so reckless. It's not good. It's not good. I don't even want you to pump the price with crazy announcements, but like pumping and dumping it and then going over to Dogecoin and then going over to, um, to meme coins. That is just a crazy thing. And then also Elon Musk was engaging with a Twitter account, which is actually a well-known scammer. Now he is starting to attack um, back actually writing about me and other people that we are scammers but actually in fact this guy is a proven scammer he even stole money from a friend of mine also a youtuber actually Carl he already announced it on his video he stole uh, money from Carl already and um, this is proven I saw it with my own eyes and um, just be very careful the funny thing is the only crypto Twitter account and it's not jealousy speaking here Elon Musk is interacting with is a scammer How in the world? Like, what is happening? Like, it, it really seems to me that Elon Musk likes irony and Elon Musk likes to do the most absurd things. Because engaging with the only biggest, most known scammer in the world is, of course, very absurd. Then taking the most absurd altcoin and pumping it is very absurd. Like, this guy is crazy. Remember, I don't know if you guys remember that, but... There was a time where Elon Musk, and this was actually, I like that. This was something I like. But he was selling a flamethrower, but he called it not a flamethrower. So what he did is he put all the pieces you need for a flamethrower into a package, right? Without um, an instruction how to assemble it. And then legally, it was not a flamethrower, but everyone who invested like one hour of research was able to manufacture his own flamethrower with this kit, which was called not a flamethrower. So he immediately sold them all out. And this was just like a big F you move towards the government and regulations and whatever. Right. This was funny. Um, I hope that no one got hurt. Right. Obviously, if so, then it was not funny. But as far as I know, I also checked it. No one got hurt. So it was funny. But what he's doing now is definitely not funny because people get financially hurt from uh, by that. Right. Someone is saying uh, Bitcoin is get, uh, dumping right now. So let's see what's happening here. Let's go back to the charts and let's see what's happening. Um, no, it's not dumping. It's actually bouncing back. So the four hourly candle closed. Oh, wow, this is interesting, guys. So let's go back. The four hourly candle closed. And wow, I just, you remember how I told you that when Bitcoin goes down, we have to wick below the previous low. <laughs> so let's, let's see, let's see. Previous low is right here. And what happened so far? Wait, there. Bitcoin wick below. 
very slightly, just for a few dollars, it wicked below. I'm not saying that it's over yet, but if Bitcoin would reverse from here, the, the pattern would actually perfectly play out. This is interesting, guys. Wow, 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 wow. That was interesting. So, I mean, I'm not saying that we are going to bounce here and we're not going to go to lower price targets, but if we were, this would perfectly actually match the Wyckoff pattern I was showing you earlier. Just to bring it back into your memory, guys. Let me zoom out. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, just to bring it back into your memory. This is it. You see? We have a phase... Ah, come on. Sorry, guys. Let me zoom down here. So you have phase A, phase B, phase C, D, E. Right now with this breakdown, we were going in for, into phase C. And in phase C, we have to break the previous low, right? Well, phase C, we have to break the previous low. So this is interesting now, guys. This is interesting. If this will be a bounce here, then of course, it's getting very, very interesting because then, so far, this Wyckoff pattern would be perfectly playing out. And by the way, guys, we have more than 10,000 people of the MM Crypto family slash army here in this video. If you can go down below, please press the share button. Share this video with your friends. Share the video on social media, on WhatsApp, on Telegram, wherever. You make the MM Crypto family bigger, and I truly appreciate that. And of course, the bigger the, we get, the stronger we are, and the more we can also send out messages to um, like big people like Elon Musk or so. Now we are having like 100,000 videos, every, uh, 100,000 views every single day. So we are already like, I don't know, top three in terms of uh, average views per video, I think, in the world. And this is, of course, because of you. 4,400 likes. Let's hit 5,000. Can we hit 5,000? That would be amazing. Also, everyone watching here, I watched the YouTube analytics before I go back into the charts, guys, just quickly. And I saw that only 65%, I mean, it's a high for the industry standard, but 65% of the viewers are subscribed. So 35% of you guys watching right now, you are not subscribed. I highly recommend you pressing the subscription button, the bell and on all, because then you can make sure that you are not relying on YouTube to decide what video to show you. You decide what video you want to watch and then you can still decide whether you want to click it or not but at least you get the notification press subscribe press the bell and press on all so 65 percent is unheard of chris thank you brother thank you so much brothers and sisters i'm very happy for you guys uh, very happy for you guys watching and um, of course for you guys being in this space so because everyone who is buying and holding is eventually going to be a winner for bitcoin this is something I'm actually convinced in. Yeah, Bitcoin is bouncing here. This is interesting. We need a video on your story. Oh, by the way, guys, if you d d are not following me yet on um, Instagram and TikTok, at Chris MM Crypto on Instagram, I have the blue verification checkmark on TikTok. It's the one with like 35K subscribers. I just started. Make sure you follow me over there. You get more and more content over there as well in a very short format in my stories and so on. Bounce not confirmed. This is true. The bounce is not confirmed. Let's maybe go to the lower time frames. So, so far here, you see, we actually wicked below the previous low, something I was mentioning earlier. If I'm going over to the one hourly candles, and also let me take out the volume, then we can see, yeah, here some volume was coming in in the last candle here. Um, so far, the bounce is not looking too bad. Usually what I would like to see for a bounce to be stronger is, of course, a bigger wick to the downside, right? Um, so far, the bounce is quite strong. Volume is there a little bit at least. So um, what do volume this usually means? It's sad, but it usually means this is a candle where a lot of weekends were shaken out and then the market is cleared and we can go to the upside again, right? Your video is bouncy. RSI is turning over. Laugh from India. Oh, I love Indian food. Perfect. So, any other questions, guys? You know what? We are 34 minutes in. I will do a, go into a quick Q&A here, answer questions you maybe always wanted to ask me. I'm closing the laptop and then I'm wrapping it off for today because we got here 5,000 likes. If we are hitting it to 6,000, I can answer a few more questions. So, should we go long now? That's a kamikaze move. I wouldn't do it. Um, because I'm a pattern trader, I'm a breakout trader. And, well, if you are going long now, the only thing you could legitimize that would be going long at the bounce at the 61.8. Because we just hit the 61.8, like, 
Not, not exactly, actually. We didn't hit it. Um, what I, you could do, no, it's, it's too risky. It's too risky. If you do anything like this, please do it with low leverage. Um, the previous low was 29,000. Yes, I'm talking about, we went down to 28,800, then we bounced and then we went down to 32,000 or something and bounced again. Now we broke this previous low. We didn't break the low low, the lowest low we, uh, we actually um, set up in the very beginning of that dump. This is true. Um, but no, it was about breaking this other previous low. What do you think about Spain? I love it. Nice. Um, uh, uh -huh. Did Tesla sold his Bitcoin? No, so far, as, as far as I know, they didn't. As far as I know, they didn't. Correct me if I'm wrong. What leverage do you use? Um, I'm using Bybit, right? The, the link is in the uh, description down below if you want to use it as well. $1,600 bonus. It says 1.1, but it's not true. Like in total, you get $3,000 with the links. Uh, but if you mean what leverage I'm using, then um, it depends. Sometimes 7x, 9x, 15x, up to 25x. I don't use more than 25x. Someone is saying the bull market is over. It really depends. How do you define a bull market, a bear market? Do you define a bear market with Bitcoin dumping more than previously, more than the 40, 45%? In this case, you could call it a bear market. Um, do you define a bear market? Yeah, how else? Going sideways downwards for a specific period of time? Then yes, also. Do you define it by the death cross? then soon probably. Uh, do you define it by hitting the 11 years resistance? Well, we also hit the 11 years resistance, right? Um, many things in the charts are actually pointing towards that this is a bear market. I told you a few reasons why I think we actually have some chances that this is not a bear market, especially considering that we had something like this in 2013, where we had a big dump towards the downside, like 75% dump or so within a bull market, and then we went higher. Uh, by the way, if you consider Bitcoin being in a bear market whenever we are closing below the 21-week EMA, then also, yes, we close below the 21-week EMA. We are actually far below another indication, charting-wise, that we are in a bear market. Real talk, guys. I, I can't say anything else. Like, I, I can't say anything else. Everything in the charts is screaming bear market. But... I'm personally still not betting on it, especially because I never would bet on with my holding portfolio. But with my trading portfolio, I am betting on it. I am already not trading so much, as you know. It was 400 million. Sailor Big, yes, yes. Michael Sailor is planning to buy another 400 million US dollars worth of Bitcoin. He is raising money for that right now. Whew. 4,000, 5,400 likes. Thank you so much, guys. You know what? I will wrap it off. I, I really have to drink something and um, go out a little bit. I will come back to you very soon at the next one of MM Crypto. Please smash up the like button. Please follow me over on Instagram, on Twitter. Instagram, Chris MM Crypto. Twitter, MM Crypto. Uh, TikTok, also Chris MM Crypto. And of course, join the Telegram groups down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Still so many people. I don't know what to say. You know what? Let me go to the rooftop. I don't know if I have now. I probably don't have connection there. Ugh. Don't do this at home. Don't do this at home, please. The connection could break up, but here you can see the nice view. I could actually go all the way up to my real room. The next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, bye bye.